Hello there, my fellow upgraded Chaos Raptors, and welcome to another video concerning one unit from the Chaos Forces. I apologize in advance if this video will end up being a little shorter than average, that's because I did want to separate these guys from the Chaos Space Marine Raptors and make two distinct presentations. I am your host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn a few things about the Warp Talons and why they are slightly different, shall we? A Warp Talon is a Chaos Space Marine Raptor whose long exposure to the Immaterium has corrupted his physical form, enabling him to move through the Veil of Reality and slice between dimensions. Warp Talons are capable of striking at their enemies as if appearing from nowhere, before slinking back into their nightmarish home dimension. When a pack of Warp Talons emerges from the warp, it appears to those on the battlefield below as if demonic warriors have burst out of nothingness into fiery vengeful life. Like the stuff of nightmares, they plummet downwards into an explosion of warp fire, tearing into the foe with murderous intent. Warp Talon packs are comprised of tightly knit groups of horribly altered Chaos Space Marines, who possess the ability to slice open the barriers between realities. Like their brothers in arms, the Raptors, they were once part of the Legiones Astartes assault companies, though they have followed the path of the Predator for so long that they live for nothing more than cutting, slashing and carving apart. This single-minded fixation with the act of severance has been brought into the very substance of their bodies. In place of its hands and feet, each warp talon has a set of crackling blades with supernaturally sharp edges, that can temporarily cut even through the sky of reality itself. When the din of war resounds through the air, the warp talons are attracted to the ephemeral echoes of anger and pain that reverberate throughout the warp. These ripples in the ether are often refracted within the materium, where hunting packs of warp talons single out the psychic signature of their prey using senses that the mortal mind could not comprehend. Once the Warp Talons have closed in upon the emotional reflection of their victim's psyche, they will slice their spirit-sharp talons through the air above their quarry's location, cutting deep wounds in the veil between worlds with their energized claws. In this way, they force their way out from the swirling anarchy of the Warp, straight into the material dimension. Though the Lessian they slice in the fabric of real space seals over as soon as the hunting pack has passed through, the mind-shattering nature of their attack is usually enough to stun their prey into inactivity. When the warp talons appear in reality, they do so in an explosion of empiric flame, a flare of energy that is all colors and none at the same time, and accompanied by a cacophony of hellish cries. This moment of awestruck hesitation is often fatal, for as the warp talons hurtle into the ranks of the foe, their hellishly sharp claws part heads from necks and limbs from torsos. Since the warp talons were once part of the Space Marine Legion's assault companies, they were also outfitted with the patterns of rare pre-Horus Heresy jump packs. Once the heresy was underway, they quickly became addicted to the exhilaration of soaring through the skies and falling upon defenseless prey, cutting, stabbing, and rending them in an orgy of soul-satisfying slaughter. They fell under the protection of an unidentified chaos power, who saw fit to give them the appearance of cruel ceramite birds of prey. The main difference between raptors and warp talons is that where a raptor has only the appearance of a bird of prey, the warp talon's once human psyche has devolved to the point where he has literally become a demonic bird of prey. Physically, warp talons appear as corrupted space marines, whose hands and feet have mutated to become massive, talon-like appendages, with preternaturally sharp blade-like digits. 
Having been corrupted more thoroughly by the ruinous powers of chaos than even their raptor allies, warp talents have been reduced to an animalistic level of existence, having lost the ability to speak, reason, or create. On those rare occasions when they are grounded, they awkwardly hop and crawl around on all fours, like flightless birds or bats yearning to take flight once again. They communicate with one another via hideous animal-like screeches, alien even to the other servants of chaos. Their very nature means that a pack of warp talons is not employed but rather set loose upon enemy forces. Chaos Space Marine Commanders cannot meaningfully communicate with these creatures, and thus employ warp talons by giving them something to hunt. Having fallen even further from their mortal origins than their raptor allies, the violence they wreak is often eloquent enough. Champions of Chaos know that these skyborne assassins respect only the hunt and the kill at hunt's end. Instead, the warp talons are given something important to the prey, such as a hank of hair, a picture, a possession of the enemy, a loved one's finger bone, or a piece of cloth from a favorite item of clothing. It is only then that the hunt begins in earnest. Soaring into the skies on plumes of demonic fire, the warp talons depart, already moving as one in their single-minded pursuit. They will not be seen again until their prey is located and battle is joined. Warp talons are able to identify their prey while in the immaterium through the emotional reflection of their victim's psyche in the warp. This allows them to emerge back into real space within direct proximity of their prey. Warp talons are utterly baffling to the attempts of the Ordo Malleus to categorize them. This is done in an attempt to better understand these heretics, and so counter their frightening ability to slaughter the servants of the Emperor at will. They exhibit characteristics of both mortal and demon at the same time. Their ability to enter and exit the warp at will and without the protection of a Geller field speaks of a blasphemous mingling of the substance of the Materium and the Immaterium. Even worse, which of the Chaos Gods grants them their abilities is also unknown, and the fact that some Warp Talons have exhibited the mark of Chaos of each particular Chaos God is a frustrating puzzle, as it makes it impossible to determine which of the Dark Gods is at the base of the Warp Talons' creation. Warp Talons dedicated to corn are frenzied butchers, springing forth from the warp as gore-drenched whirlwinds of destruction. Those dedicated to Slanesh behave as sadistic killers, maximizing the pain and anguish inflicted for their own pleasure. Warp Talons of Nurgle are bloated carrion birds who enjoy taking their time and toying with their prey. Those Warp Talons in service to Tsinch channel the raw powers of the warp, making them almost invulnerable as they slash and dismember. One interesting group of such warp talons is known as Lucorifus's pack. During the fall of Vilamus at the end of the 41st millennium, the 10th company of night lords assisted Huron Blackheart in seizing the marine errant reserves of Seed. During the infiltration of the Marine Zerrand Fortress Monastery, the Night Lords deployed Lucorifus and his pack of raptors, that were already clearly in the process of devolving into warp talons. Lucorifus was the only remaining member of the pack still able to speak the dialect of Nostraman Low Gothic favored by the Night Lords, and meaningfully communicate with his fellow legionaries. His pack is chewed ranged weapons in favor of their claw-like appendages to hunt and slaughter their terrified prey. When at rest, in the holds of the Night Lord starship Echo of Damnation, they miserably crawled on all fours or hung from the ceiling like obscene bats, yowling and screeching in protest at their inability to fly. Lucorifus and his pack were not then fully-fledged warp talons, for they could not yet enter and exit the Imperion at will. However, these miserable creatures were clearly on their way into mutating into a pack of those foul servants of the Dark Gods. And this, my friends, 
has been what I wanted to tell you about the warp talents for today. Would you like having one or more units of these in your army? Do you think their savagery and unpredictability is worth it? Let me know in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for future content. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you a peaceful day. The Emperor Protects.